Well, hello there, YouTube. 62 degrees on the, what are we, the 28th? Yeah, 28th of August. Can you believe that August is almost over? Sunset is below. Look at Abby and Lucas playing out there. <laughs> Not sure what's with the weird kind of haze going on out here, but it's comfortable. Well, Lucas, it was fun having you this weekend. Crazy little man. <laughs> Have fun in school starting on Wednesday. Okay, thank you, Grandpa. Mm -hmm. Well, little woman, it's the beginning of a new week. Yep. It's awfully quiet, but haze is still here. That, that, them fires down in Sisters must still be going on or something. It's almost like you can smell it too. Yeah. A moment. I'm gonna head on down to the hole. Right. We'll see you as the day goes on. Right. <laughs> bye, bye bye. So I got this wonderful young lady to take for a test ride and bring upstairs. Then I got me a, a roadie to work on. 2016 103 twin camera. So I took that R9T racer for its mandatory test ride after setup PDI. And then uh, this R9T Urban GS is in for its first service. I immediately rode, I rode the R9T Racer in the store and rode this one out and down here. Um, definitely like the Urban GS better. I, just the seating position, the kind of, you feel like a hooligan riding it. It's, uh, if I was going to get an R9T, it'd definitely be this one. Red seat and all. That thing is cool. So uh, I'll take it for a quick little spin after doing the service and take you guys along. How about that? Oh yeah, this thing's nice and tall. I love it. <laughs> and it is already warm because I uh, had it warming up on my bench. Double checking oil and all that kind of good jazz. So she's had herself a nice fresh tune me up. This thing's just such a a relaxed ride. I would just be goofing off on trails and all kinds of fun stuff with this thing. Yeah, I mean it just feels like a dual sport. It just feels fantastic. That little uh -oh, number plate, headlight, cover, whatever you want to call that thing. I'm sure it would uh, kind of work like the iron, keep that wind off your off your torso. And I just love these K2X motors with their little rumble they got going on. Just fantastic. I think we've blown through all these Urban GSs we've received as well. got that nice fresh you kind of hear this little singing and whirring going on so nice let me just give you a quick little uh quick little walk around i've ridden you guys on these things before and i'm sure i probably did them on the daily vlog as well i want just to give you a quickie i love that red seat and that just fits with that with the two-tone blue and white that is one fun motorcycle this thing is awesome and the exhaust the exhaust sounds is very very pleasing to the ear it sounds fantastic but for some reason it records really weird i know when i listen to these things back it sounds like this gurgling kind of weird popping sound but I can assure you that's not how it sounds in person it's just you know cameras are they can pick things up weird you know and despite it's like kind of dual sport kind of nature and the way it's set up with the suspension and stuff it just tracks just really solid and 
steady. I'm sure you could just rail on this thing on the road. What a wonderful bike. Thanks, I say thanks for coming along. All right, it's time to work on the roadie. It's 2016. Obviously, I can't discuss the repair, but I'll just give you one clue. And you can decipher that amongst yourselves. She's done. That rattle is not the bike, that's my, that's my rack. <laughs> Got some Reinhardts on it. She's a sweetheart. I like the lowers with the lights on there. That's pretty cool. Bag extensions with lights. Well, let's go take a Harley for a ride. I'm riding everything else. Let's take a road glide for a glide. Day, another dollar. See you, Rody. I guess Rainy Brass said he went to Montana and uh, went through fires like a whole way there. He's going, I hope that stuff isn't making it your way. Well, something somewhere. Because that's some fiery haze out here. All right, Mama. Let's head home. Look at that traffic mess on the southbound lane. And all it is, there's no wreck or anything. It's just it next down the two lanes. Jeez, where are all the people going? Why would that many people be going southbound tonight? So we came here to Walmart and all the roundabouts and stuff. Woodland is just like a gridlock. So people are, are like coming to these roundabouts trying to get north. And, uh... Huh. We may never get out of here when we leave. All this for a construction thing. There is no accident back there. Hey, it's us. <laughs> get in there, woman. Doing them beef jerky. What you looking for there, little woman? Mangoes? Those are always good. In the health food section. Bird food. 
<laughs> yeah, very good for you. Check out the uh, custom made trike. That's pretty cool, huh? She's very yellow. Oh dear lord, it's still going on up there. Which is probably gonna affect us getting out. Good old Wally World. Man, what a mess. Yeah, glad we're going north. Poor, poor people. Well, the good thing is, it's just past the bridge over there, so when, once you get that far, you're home free. Still, it's never good to be stuck in traffic. No. Especially at the end of the day, you just want to get home. Yeah, I just want to go home. Fire. That's what you never want to see, it's just a solid red line. And you, yeah, you being stuck out in what's making the red line. Wow, look at that, it just goes forever. Still 94 here in Toledo and all smoke hazed out. Just nasty out here. Back at the old petrol station. Still at 299.9. Dang. So, I told my kid that I got the two two up seat sitting here on this box underneath there because he wants to take somebody for a ride on his uh, 48 and he takes my Mustang meathead didn't even touch that what a goomba that's not a two up seat <laughs> he wanted the foot peg so I told him he's off today I told him I said go by the house I said I have the foot pegs off of my 48 that I loaned a triple X deadhead for Yellowstone. I said, they're in a box. I said, be careful when you open up the box, there's a shield inside there. So I come walking in to unlock the everything to get the car in, and I see the box is open. <laughs> triple X deadhead was here. Hit that like button. In here. Utah 14, Yosemite 15, Yellowstone 16. What's next? 3,000 miles of thanks. Yellowstone 16. Uh, <laughs> on here as well. That's funny as heck. I had no idea he wrote. I, I, I never opened the box. I didn't need any of that stuff in there yet. So I haven't opened it up. I've seen the X's on the outside everywhere. <laughs> what a knothead. Oh yeah. And the little puppies, we're all doing fine. All crashed out here. They survived the 100 degree day. We were out here yesterday when it was almost 100. We're swapping the puppies around it and it feels pretty comfortable under this barn. Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> it's... We're still like 20 minutes from sunset. I think between the, the smoke, the haze, and mountains and stuff because it's at such an angle the sun I don't know where sunset is at 857 tonight so we're not, we're another 10 15 minutes at least from there yeah because it's 20 minutes uh, it's probably about 15 minutes away the dang mountains and stuff just knock well, what sunset says and what it actually is is two different things it drives me nuts I know it does but uh yeah the old days are clicking back quick man Going fast. I know it. The man, it was some kind of smoker today. It was hot. It's and it's muggy here too. I have no idea what it is with the smoke haze. Why that kicks the humidity up? It must be keeping a layer and it's not escaping. It's holding it down like a cloud layer will do or something. I have no idea. But man, with that smoke haze, it gets some kind of muggy. So 100 degrees with with high humidity. I feel like I'm in the freaking south again. Oh, I know it. <laughs> it's nuts. Not used to this. No man, you step into air conditioner, you don't realize, you just think it's hot. 
and it feels muggy until you step in the air conditioner and go, yeah, that's like humid, really humid out there. You can swing a, a two by four in that thing, you just get resistance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a good day back at work on a, on Monday, starting a new week. And uh, I guess it's not quite as intense up front for Kelly, so she's able to get a lot of things done and and not not be in that frantic mode, you know. Yeah, chaos. Phones are ringing off the hook and people lined up at the counter. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this coming weekend's Labor Day weekend, it so uh, gonna it'll be nuts crazy. again, yeah, because that's like the last hoorah of the summer, you know. But we get a three-day weekend. That's kind of cool. We'll have Monday off. So yeah, that's way that'll cool. That'll be nice. I didn't even bother asking for it off because, one, my schedule's full, and uh, I think some parts people have already called that one out. So yeah. It would be nice to take Friday off and get a little four-day weekend out of it. But there'll be time for those things later on. Yeah. Because we actually got out of work at a normal time, but anyway, stopping at Walmart to kill a bunch of time and gas. And so. Yeah. Not enough hours. Yep. Yeah, definitely not enough hours now. Them days are kicking back on us. Yep. The time, or the light is anyway. But Mama, we're going to roll. roll out on that. All right. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. If you wonder what the bike sound is back there, the neighbor kid's got a I think it's an, a CRF 100. It, it might be a 150, but I think it's a 100. He's out there just lapping around out in that big old field. He's out there practicing wheelies the other day. I'm thinking, yeah. oh, man, I remember them days. Oh, yeah. Just keep trying, keep trying this thing. You know, you're bombing down the highway on a back wheel. Yeah. That's not a good thing. I don't condone no. that. No, you play in your little yeah. dirt field best way to start out riding a motorcycle though, is on the dirt you learn massive massive skills riding on the dirt yeah definitely definitely on the dirt first and you don't even know what you're doing on a street bike if you haven't spent years riding in the dirt promise you yep so anyway we're gonna roll out on that okay sounds good am i ready we'll All see right. you guys tomorrow see you tomorrow He's yes, coming, Bella. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> All right, we see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye -bye. Not quite the beautiful uh, clouds and stuff like we had. And for sunset, that old smoky haze, it does kind of look cool. Gives it that weird... Well, <laughs> weird like there's a forest fire in the background somewhere. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very, very much.